Hey, you bunch of weebs, what the hell's going on? So I'm back, and I've got two mangas to review. I'm super excited. I just finished the second volume of Jazz. Are you guys ready for an awesome yaoi manga review? Because I know I am. Here is going to be my honest, non-14 year old opinion on these books. Um, if you guys haven't seen my last, um, I guess, yaoi binging video, I can't remember. I'll link it over here somewhere. But I am reviewing Jazz, and it is a adult yaoi manga that I purchased when I was like 14, so it was forever and ever ago. And I've had these on my shelf ever since. They've only been read once, and they've been forgotten about uh, amongst life and marriage and everything else. So I decided to reread them considering I can't buy less in coins. <laughs> anyway, so I began reading the first one. Now, okay. I'm not completely opposed to it, um, don't get me wrong, it makes for exciting uh, content for readers, but I don't know what the hell it is with yaoi and rape, basically. Like, it, it makes it seem like all of these mangas, or well anyway, I don't know if it's me and the mangas that I picked up when I was 14 years old and I had a screwed up mind or what, but it seems like all of these damn animes or mangas have some kind of rapey vibes to them. Even Leshin. I mean, of course, Killing Stalking has that whole feel, but it's meant to have that. Um, Royal Servant has rape in it. Um, what else? An Easy Target has rape in it. Um, <laughs> what else do I read? Uh, but it just seems like a majority of the yaoi mangas that I do read aren't lovey-dovey for the most part. It's like, I'm gonna force myself on you. You're gonna like this dick. Excuse me, sorry, got excited. <laughs> so Jazz starts off with Doc and Naoki. Doc is a happy doctor from what it seems like to everybody in his hospital until Naoki comes in with his mom and he's having a super terrible asthma attack. And this is how Naoki is introduced to Doc and you only know Doc as Doc. So Naoki and Doc, um, he ends up being there at the hospital with his mom. Uh, the doctor calms him down, forces his crazy over eccentric mom out of the room and, you know, sits there and talks to Naoki and Naoki gets this inkling like, I don't know what it is, but I, but I kind of like this guy. And the doctor is kind of like, I don't know what it is about Naoki, but he kind of reminds me of myself. And he's got this look in his eye, rapey look maybe? I don't know, doctor. Like, you're a professional, but Naoki is still in school. And once he graduates college, um, the doctor offers to take him out to dinner for a celebratory dinner. And throughout Naoki, it's just kind of implied throughout Naoki going to college, he sees the doctor, um, you know, every so often. And so they're, they start to be friendly and know each other a little bit more. And then it flashes forward to Naoki and Doc going out to dinner. <laughs> the Doc drinks too much. He just, he just has so much wine, you guys. And Naoki sees this as like, I want Doc. I want him. And he's drunk. So I'm going to take him to my house. And uh, things are going to happen. Which they do. And it's rapey. Of course. Like every other yaoi summer reads. So Doc and Naoki get busy. And, of course, Naoki basically forces himself, and I'm gonna show you guys this shit. Naoki, and there is Doc. And, of course, Doc is more of the, hmm, gentle one, feminine one. I wouldn't say feminine, but he's just more, not as hardcore as Naoki and rapey, I guess. Naoki lays Doc down and takes his clothes off, and, you know, he falls asleep first. 
and he wakes up and realizes that he is um, not where he should be, and he's naked. So here he's like, oh my god, I shouldn't be, shouldn't be here. And then boom, now he's like, I'm just going to take my clothes off. We're going to get busy. Assume the position. Am I, am I, like, it's rape. It's all totally rape. Like, he forces himself on the doctor, and he's completely traumatized by it. The doc really doesn't hear too, too much and tries to avoid Naoki because he's been raped, and that's a completely okay reason to not want to be around somebody, but he keeps thinking about Naoki. Eventually, he, um, he finds a letter, and it's addressed to him and it's from Naoki and it's telling him to come out to the city, come out to Tokyo and come see him. And for some reason, Doc feels like, oh, I should do this because I don't know what this guy would do to me if I told him no. He might just rape me again. Who knows? Doesn't matter because pff, he gets raped again, basically forced into it. And like, slowly you start to see, like, you start to see that Naoki's realizing what he's doing and that it's not okay, but he just feels he's got head problems. He's got parent issues and it doesn't make rape okay, but he's got some issues. It's just like the whole first book is Naoki forcing himself on Doc. And also going out of his way to buy uh, Doc a, an anniversary present or a present you know it's basically an anniversary present of the day that he was cleared because he ends up being okay and being cured of his asthma because of all the rape and he's doing I guess. <laughs> so eventually the doctor gets accepted to go study abroad in New York or actually not study to work abroad in a hospital in New York so he's like this is my chance like I can get away from Naoki he'll forget about me he won't remember me after about a year or so or whatever, and we'll be good, we'll be fine, like, I'll be safe from him. And he just keeps thinking about Naoki, and Naoki keeps thinking about him, and then Naoki shows up on his doorstep and they hug and they're happy to see each other, and yeah. I don't know if it's just me being older, or... <laughs> I have no idea if it's me just being older of an adult and not but like it excites me and this is a good read for me it took me back but at the same time it's like I want I'm looking for a little bit more of a story you know what I mean so if you guys have an awesome yaoi manga that you think has a really good love story aspect to it instead of just complete and utter rape then let me know like I said, not that I don't enjoy it, but sometimes it gets a little old, especially after my lesbian binging lately. But jazz number two, however, there's maybe like a rape scene, and that's because Doc's out finding a Christmas present for Naoki, and Naoki thinks he's cheating on him with somebody else, and he rapes him out of jealousy. But other than that, for the most part, they're like a happy couple. It's just like, hey, I raped you. Come on over here. We're going to be like the best yaoi couple in the world. So awkward. <laughs> but it's so good. Like, all you Fujoshi out there understand. You, you know. They go on a trip. Like, Naoki plans a trip for them. And they have, like, an awesome time. And then they get back and all that whole uh, present, I think you're cheating on me and I'm going to rape you, like, comes into play. Also, Naoki gets into trouble. They move, eventually move back. They eventually move back to Japan. But they realize that they can't, they can't be together. They can't live together like they did for three months in America because they are known as doctor and patient in Japan. And if anybody saw them together, they would think that Doc was messing around with an underage person, even though he was basically 18. And that's just not good doctor patient bullshit. So they can't live together and Naoki's pissed, of course, but 
um, he ends up getting, they end up spending a day together, a weekend together, and now he's in pain and he ends up having appendicitis and he gets, you know, rushed into the hospital and they're talking about operating and Doc gets scared and now he's scared and that's where they kind of leave you. The cat's on my stand right now. That's basically where the second book leaves you. I know I didn't talk too much about the second book, but the first book was just, that's what it introduces you into. And it, it, for me, it was just kind of like, okay, all right, cool, whatever. Um, I really don't remember too much about what three and four hold for me. Um, and I don't remember the story very well past uh, one and two. Also, I'm going to show you guys what else I have up my sleeve to review once I finish these manga, or this manga. Once I finish this manga, I should say. Do you see this shit? Do you see it? Do you see it all? Yeah. I've got a problem, and I'm not afraid to admit it. Dear Myself, Crushing Love, Time Lag, Seven, Close the Last Door, Wait for it, Passion, Passion Volume 2, and Passion Volume 3, and this is another one that I really, really adored, so I'm hoping this is a good read. The Moon, wait, The Moon and the Sandals, which is a very odd title. Oh, I'm missing it. Our Everlasting was one of my faves. Kissing was also one of my faves. So those are all my um, June and DMP Yaoi mangas. And then, you know, like, you get, you get into this stuff, right? And then after you start finding, like, that's the first, those are the first yaois that I found. And then you start looking for more. And more was, uh, I have level C. I don't know if you guys have read this one either. Level C is pretty, uh, pretty raunchy. Um, I have Skyscrapers of Oz, which was also raunchy and kind of way fucking out there. And then we have this one. This one's a little weird for me. And I'm sure you can tell by the title why it's a little weird for me. Um, but it's Yaoi, and they're hot. Like, they're hot guys. I mean, it's still... It's all right. It's kind of, there's no deep meaning behind it. It's just all sex. It, it's just your typical raunchy yaoi manga. But those are all of the mangas that I'm eventually going to review for you guys. So I hope you're excited because I know I am. Hopefully eventually I'll get back into Les Hin once I am not um, putting money away and trying to save for Japan. It's really hard. I'm putting everything I have to Japan. We're going in March. This is happening. Send me good vibes, you guys. Send me good vibes because we're going no matter what. I postponed it last year. It's happening this next coming year. I really hope you guys enjoyed my Jazz Volume 1 and 2 review. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the like button, and also throw me a comment, you guys. I'm really looking for some more yaoi. I'm looking for some awesome love story yaoi, not rapey yaoi. So link me down below to some websites I can read some stuff on for free. If not, send me some titles that I can go buy. Oh, wait, Barnes & Noble doesn't carry yaoi. That I can buy on Amazon or something. Once again, you guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate it. See ya, weebs.